Saturday night, guys. Um, I adjusted my time a little bit. Well, for me, I adjusted my time. I'm not sure for you guys because my time doesn't change, but I set it back an hour for myself. So I'm not quite sure how it has affected you guys. I think it's kind of back to, for you guys, it'd be the same time as it was before the time change, I think. You'll have to let me know in the chat. I got to tell you guys, I was really feeling a lot of anxiety this last half hour before this live stream. I mean, I haven't done one for a bit. I wasn't going to do one yet. Um, but I just really want to thank all you guys for all your patience and support. Um, there's a lot of things that I'm not going to be discussing at this point in time. But I want to thank everybody that sent me messages and tried to call and sent me text messages and stuff. I haven't responded to any of them um, just because I'm taking my own time right now. Although um, the only people I, I contacted was my immediate family, my brother and sister, because I believe my brother and sister are the ones that know my heart the most. And I can vent anything to, and I can admit my flaws to, because they already know them all. <laughs> they also think there's a couple there that I'm not aware about yet, but we'll just leave it like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I do really, really want to thank you guys for understanding that I hadn't been on here for a little bit. And I see we've got uh, the Morris family, Mobang for your bucks, Desert Adventures in Arizona, dropping some things in the chat, showing how long they've been members for. So just recently, 10 members dropped off. The first 10 that had been gifted out, um, those are done. So if you guys wanted to continue them, you would need to go in and click the join button and join in that way. There's still five gifted ones that are still active for a little bit. Oh, Tim, thank you. Drink your cold away. Yeah, it is freaking cold. In fact, just before this live stream, I looked up what the temperature is in Fahrenheit for you guys. So it's minus two Fahrenheit feels like minus 15. And in to me in Celsius, I gotta love this app. It really just shows me everything the way I want. That's minus 19 feels like minus, minus 26. So anyone that doesn't know, Celsius and Fahrenheit equal when we hit minus 40. So the colder it gets, the more our temperatures are the same. So thank you so much for that, Tam. I really, really, really appreciate that. Let me play a thank you. Wait, I had, I had a couple different thank yous in another section. Wow, it feels like I haven't done this in forever. Forever. Yeah, so that's one of my new ones. I made them real short and sweet. <laughs> oh, but let's play this one. Wait, that wasn't the one I meant to play. <laughs> Here we go, Tim. Hey, why is up? Don't talk to me like that. Sorry, I love that so much more than my old moose ones, but I have to spend a little bit more time on some of my editing software and stuff. In a minute, I'm going to say hello to everyone. But before I do, I have to put out the biggest thank you to Bart Ford. Bart um, commented in the chat in one of my last live streams um, when I said I was I was wanting to get a lagoon mount and that would have been a real special treat, right? I already had the table part that I wanted to use, but I really wanted to save up for a lagoon mount. And he said he had one and emailed me. And so I sent him my address and it cost him $63 to ship the lagoon mount from the U.S. to me here in Canada, plus whatever the cost of the lagoon mount was. So that is just incredible kindness and generosity. I don't want to put it in in this extreme cold because I'm worried about drilling into anything and cracking. But as soon as it warms up, that is like one of the first things I'm putting in there. And I'm so stoked for it. Thank you so much, Bart. It is greatly appreciated. So that table is going to be freaking fantastic in there. Super duper duper excited. Yeah, Bree, shipping to Canada is nuts. For anyone that doesn't know, Bree sent me the moose milk shot glass. Shot, yeah, shot glass. And so, yeah, shipping is crazy. So I'm going to come and check my participant list really quick. 
and say hello to some of you guys. Wait a minute. I gotta take that off. Oh man, you guys, I just, whew, my anxiety is like through the roof. My stomach feels all shaky and I feel like I'm starting to break into a sweat right now. I hope I can make it through. I might need reinforcements in this live stream, I tell ya. Oh, Tim, time for exploring. I know why you're cold. You didn't put diesel in the ambulance, right? Our fuel prices are dropping here right now a bit, um, but diesel prices aren't dropping. So we are still sitting at about $2 a liter for diesel. And today, or not to yesterday, I saw $1.46 a liter for, for regular fuel. So we've got Ava Potterfield and friends, Troy Count Maintenance Guy, Cookie's here. Hey, Cookie. We got Desert Adventures in Arizona, Stephen Oki, Diane is here, George and Rose, Lillian, Linda, two Lindas, Linda Barker and Linda Lady Redskins. Kobe's Travels is now living in the dream. Good to see you, Kobe. Lynn is here, Marianne is here, Tim is here with Mobang for your bucks, Richard Quick, one of our silent lurkers. Me on vacation. Welcome in. Good to see you here. Richard Quick, Grandma, RV Grandma Charlotte. Hello. Thanks for coming in. RV Living Life. Sandy Martin. Bree's here with TGIF. Tim's here with Time for Exploring. And me. So if anybody popped in while I was reading those, I missed you. Sorry, guys. So that just gives me a list um, of the people that have commented during this live stream. Kind of cool. Oh, I got another super chat. I got two screens open. Neon vacation. Thank you so much. All the way from Rochester. Awesome. Let me play a thank you for you. That would have worked better if I took the comment down. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my shit, you guys. Here, let me play a thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I am sweating. I tell you, you guys, what is it? So I have a little fan on right now. And if that bothers um, and interferes at all, let me know. All right. RBBFE, hello, hello. Good to see you. Everybody's saying hello to everyone. I'm like all over the map, you guys. So I'm going to refer to my stuff. So today was an interesting day. For those of you that know that I'm rebuilding my basement on my own, I finished um, all the drywall and I have painted every room now. I just need to do the flooring. Good thing I didn't do the flooring in the main area because that's where we have to go down to the cement under the subfloor and they have to put a backflow valve in so the sewer from the street can't get into the house area. That's $1,500 to get that done, but well worth it. Because my insurance um, jumped a lot for insurance coverage. But when I get that in, it's going to make a difference. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Badge. Good to see you guys. Uh, hope us. Hello, hello. So anyway, so I still haven't replaced the furnace and the water heater. They still work. I'm trying to get quotes on them, which I finally got my quotes in this week, so I'll be able to get them done right away. But I went to go have a shower or a bath this afternoon to get ready for my live stream, you know, wash my hair for you guys. And I had no hot water. So I went downstairs and I couldn't get the pilot to relight. So I boiled water and I'm... <laughs> I'm so glad I've never been a waitress because I would have been the shittiest waitress ever because I'm carrying the boiling pot of water to add to the water that's in the tub and I splashed. So I literally have a burn mark on my stomach that I'm putting aloe vera on and it really hurts. So yeah, no hot water today. But if one of them was going to go early, I'm glad it was a water heater and not the furnace because I would have been in big trouble if it was the furnace. Um... I saw something about BAMP. Some days here. Hello. Still on to make it to BAMP, make BAMP happen in May. Yeah, you're going to have to keep us in the loop. Let us know. Um, May long weekend will probably be busy there, I would imagine. But at least for me, it's a three-day weekend, which I can take. I don't need as much vacation time to get out there. Um, but that would be fun to have a meetup in May there. It's, it's gorgeous there. 
Ah, oh, and then I'll have my new table mounted, my new lagoon mount. And we can all sit around playing cards because I have a bigger table now. So that's pretty cool. Um, sorry guys, just trying to catch up. Oh, you're watching the big game bear. All right. Awesome, awesome. So, um, in the last little while, I've been keeping myself busy. I on Netflix, I'm totally binging Manifest. Do you guys get that on your Netflix? Manifest. It's a, I think it's four season series. I just finished the second season. So that's my downtime. Took my TV out of my bedroom, put it back in the living room. So I'm not laying in bed to watch just to keep my mood a little bit better. Um, ripping through my house, reorganizing things and donating things away and throwing things in the garbage. Yeah. So definitely, definitely keeping myself super duper busy, which feels great. Feels really, really good to get some of this stuff organized. And I am pretty set that I'm going to put the house up for sale in the spring. I am, hey, Marianne, hey, Dee. I know I will have had so much stuff done to this place. Hey, Steph, it's Noelle, but I'm just done dealing with the house. I'm tired of being tied to it. I know a house is an investment. I know there's lots of perks to it for just myself. There's no reason for me to have this anymore. So I'm, my plan is I'm hoping it'll sell in the spring and then I can stay in the ambulance until it gets cold and then decide from there if I'm going to rent a small apartment or a room somewhere or yeah, I'll figure out from there. But I have officially decided I'm done dealing with all of this stuff by myself. Um, I do really want a tiny house though. So if anyone knows of any land in the area, like just a little acre, I, I would love to stay in the ambulance and build a tiny house. But as far as having this place, it, it just doesn't make sense anymore. With the mortgage having gone up with interest rates, our carbon tax on some of the utilities, I took a good look at because I was like, why are my bills so high? That's why our carbon taxes that they have here in Canada hit us. Hello, adventures of Kenny and Debbie. Good to see you guys. Um, so, yeah, that's a that was a big decision. That's just my first step. I feel like I'll have everything done and ready in the spring. Flowers start coming up and looks pretty. Um, yeah, I live right by a school, so I think that would really help. Actually, my neighbors across the street. So in 2011, when I flooded the first time, they had lived in their house for 45 years at that point in time. So now it would have been over 50 years that they lived there. And they just sold their house. In fact, there was no for sale sign on it until it had, all of a sudden there's a for sale sign and sold on it. Like they put the sign out with sold. So I have to find out what they got for it. Um, places are moving faster now. Hopefully we'll get some more industry set up here and it'll be worth it. But Stephanie lives, Snowy Owl lives in my community as well. And she is planning to sell her house as well. Another single mom, kids are done and up and out of the house. There's just no point in keeping it. Hey, River Sticks Outdoors. Good to see you. Nice to see all the stuff you're working on on Facebook. I really enjoy checking that out. Um, yeah, and I think with an apartment, I can come and go as I want. I don't have to worry about water heaters going. I don't have to worry about flooding. I don't have to worry about furnaces. I can just come and go. It's just me and the dogs. And I feel like that just frees up so much in my life. Because this year has been constant stress. Oh, River Sticks, you want to make me some? That'd be awesome. Yeah, Steph, definitely text me and we'll we'll discuss some of the stuff in our area. A yard sale, right? Um, I don't know how much I'll get rid of. My big stuff, I will. Anything I would keep for a tiny house, I would put in storage. So I just want, I've already <laughs> forced downsides where I have nothing in the basement anymore. And I used to have two bedrooms and a living room furnished down there. But uh, oh, thanks, Lillian. But yeah, there are a lot of things I will be getting rid of. If I can't keep it and use it in the ambulance and it's too much for an apartment, then so be it. 
Yeah, D, it is a big decision, but this is my other thought. Sometimes we have to be open to the possibilities in life. And when things are meant to be, they will happen when it's the right time. So I can list it, but if I don't sell it by the time school starts, I'll pull it off the market again. So I got to keep that in mind when I am setting up with a real estate agent. Uh, if I can, I'm only going to have it listed four to six months. And if it doesn't sell in that time yet, I'm dropping it down. I mostly want to get out of debt and I want to have some freedom. I want to be able to say, I want to go to the States or, oh, guess what? I have three weeks of vacation, which I have right now. And I wanted to leave for a month this winter and go warm. But now I'm trying to figure out how do I do it? Hello, She Devil Adventures. Good to see you. Yes, Linda, if you haven't used it in a year, get rid of it. Diane says the house next to her, her sold for 195K, less a bed and a bath and less land. Mm -hmm. I was going to put a fence up and stuff, but really somebody else can do that if, if they want to buy it. And I'll account for that in the cost when I sell it. But yeah, it's just crazy. Lillian, you love my haircut. I didn't cut my hair. But what did I do? I colored it. I needed to pick myself up. How many of you, when you want to feel a little bit better, you just feel like you need something different. I know it's not a huge change, but I colored my hair. It's got a bit more red to it. I still haven't had a haircut in over a year. I do need a trim, but eh. Okay, let me see. So Richard says, be careful right now and check the prices of houses because there are a lot of people that will buy houses and flip for higher price. My house I bought over 20 years ago has jumped. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have been keeping up with what our market values are, and they have dropped a lot. Um, so I'm there's, there's an amount I know that I won't go lower than, and there's a time frame that I'm willing to sell it. And if it is meant to be, it will happen. If it's not meant to be, it won't, and I'll continue to stay. It's as simple as that. Oh, sorry, Linda. I have missed so many comments. Thank you, guys. Diane colored hers. Dee just cut all hers off, right? So, yeah. Oh, Richard, that's awesome that it went up that much. That's fantastic. So right now I'm thinking, okay, I have some time off. What should I do? I think I need someone to help me work through these problems do you guys want to know what I actually have? Surprise company tonight. I did not know. I got a phone call going, what are you doing? Where are you right now? I'm like, I'm at home. Okay, we're here. Guess who you think it is? Guess who is here? Just guess who is here? Oh, Lillian, thank you for the super chat. Oh, thank you. That means so much to me. Let me play a thank you for you. The moose milk one. Hey, wise up. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> I love that. Oh, Lillian, I'll see if I got the old school one for you too. I got to go back into another section here. Do I still have that really, really, really lame ass one? Oh no, I think I deleted it. No. Wait, I got another section I'll go back to. Man, I got a lot of stuff I haven't used in a long time. Oh, I can't use my overlays anymore because I'm not paying for StreamYard. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, this one. This one. Eyes are so clear with you. I want to stay. Oh my gosh, makes me giggle. Let me see what your guesses are for who's here. Everybody thinks it's Badge, Auntie Cindy. No, no, no. Oh, someone trimmed his beard. Me too. What do you think, Steve? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we actually have, I believe there's a pictures in the emojis. Check out the Emojis channel members and drop the possibilities for who may be here. In fact, I'm not even sure who is in those anymore. Let me check. Oh, I know. 
No, Lillian, I didn't notice until you pointed it out that you changed your logo. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Wait, something else is here. <laughs> Brie trimmed her beard too. Oh, Robin Jan, nope. I'm not sure where they are right now. All right. It is one of my favorite people on earth. Come pull a chair up. Come on, come on, come on. You're going to help me discuss what I'm going to possibly do. It's my baby brother. Give me a sweetheart. Grab a chair, grab a chair. No. It's DJ. The lighting is terrible. It's, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it just washes all my wrinkles away. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this. Come sit closer because you're way over here. That's good. Keep it going. Get over here. <laughs> Everyone's like, DJ. Yeah, it is freaking cold here. So what do you do? You go and visit your sister. Amy and Caleb are in the other room. We, uh, hey, San Van, good to see you here. We uh, played the kids version of Catan because they've been teaching me the other Catan, which is a picture that I had posted a couple weeks ago that I was getting my butt kicked on that board game. So now we have it online and I've been trying to play <laughs> that. And I think tonight after this live stream, we're going to play the grown up one. I'm and I win. might not lose <laughs> as bad. I'm still going to win. <laughs> you are the master at that game. How did you come across Catan? No, I played it once with Amy's brother and he liked it. I thought it was fun. I was good at it. And I played on the, I played on the VR a lot. VR is virtual reality? Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Oh, DJ, you saw my last short that I put out. It was the one about plugging our cars in, how the, it's to the block heater and that keeps our coolant warm, which keeps our oil and, and, and the block, uh, block warm. So you saw that short, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I usually get really great comments, but this comment I think is bad but I don't understand it. Now, let me just find where I put this. I, I actually typed it up so I could pull it up here. So the, the short, most of you guys saw this short, I think, was about the plug-in on our car. They're not all electric cars. It's to plug our block heater in because the extreme cold. And someone put, I thought it was to hook up your stupid nose ring before you leave a poop. It's Canada after <laughs> all. And I... <laughs> I, I keep rereading this one and rereading it, and I don't understand. What does a plug-in? Obviously, they don't like my nose ring. That's the only thing that's clear on this one. But it's like, so plug the plug-in to my car is to hook up to my nose ring before I leave a poop. I think it just means like... It's kind of obvious that it's the block heater. Okay, how many of you have not, how many of you have had a vehicle that doesn't have a block heater in it? It doesn't, most people in the States, it doesn't come with a block heater. Ours do. Well, I, I don't know, do they come automatically? Or have they ordered them in Canada with them? Because I've never had a car without a block heater. Hey, Wanda Wander. No, I think lots of the cars that come to the States have to put one in. They have to put in, but we don't hear. All yours have had one, right? Yeah. 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 So I was like, that is a really interesting comment. So Keely, hey, Keely has never had a block heater. Efficient RV. Oh, Hybrid Life, you changed your name. Never had one with a block heater. Hybrid Life, I think you're Canadian, aren't you? She Devil Adventures has never had one. Ava's never had one. Diane's never had one. So see, like you say, it's so obvious, but then it, they said it's Canada <laughs> after all. So I'm thinking maybe it's not a Canadian, some somewhere else from somewhere cold. I don't know. Oh, New Hampshire. Okay. Okay. I screwed that up. Cookies from Louisiana. What's a block heater? We, I don't know everything where it goes, but you plug it into an <laughs> extension cord. Yeah. I plug it into the house and it keeps my oil from freezing up and the coolant in there. So some of it keeps our batteries from freezing as much, although even in extreme cold here and even having it plugged in, um, some of those days you still got to go out at least once a day and try to start it and let it run for a good half an hour to recharge a battery because the cold drains our batteries so incredibly much here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you don't plug it in your car, like, where, where, where. 
Yeah. And then this morning started. Well, and that's part of the problem when I went to leave with the ambulance last winter is the guy with the tow truck's like, I don't even know if your block heater's working. Well, it was minus 47 with the wind chill, right? And it had been plugged in, but it just, everything froze right up. But I bought an oil pan heater, which I could use on either vehicle now oh, if I wanted. Yeah. I took it back off, but that did make huge difference. Hey, Nomadic Rambler, so good to see you guys. There's 63 people here. That's awesome. I was kind of nervous that no one would want to come in. <laughs> I haven't been here for a while. Oh, Ron says even his diesel doesn't have a... Ron, you're in Texas. <laughs> I, had, I had an F-350, and like when it was cold outside, it'd be just as cold inside the truck as it is outside. Mm -hmm. and that's a, like, is that just because... like Is your ambulance like that, too? Or? Oh yeah. It actually warm up inside. Inside, no, you have to have a, a defroster thing that you plug in your lighter, but then you need a battery maintainer on it. Um the other day, I forget what the temperature outside was, but when I went into my my car was in my garage. My garage is not heated, but it is insulated. So just keeping it out of the elements makes a huge difference. So it said minus eight. When I started Celsius, when I started the car, and by the time I got to the store, it said minus 23. So from minus eight to minus 23, that is how significant of a difference it was by keeping my car in the garage. So Stephanie says in the 80s and before that time, van heaters were pop or car heaters were like what you're talking about was popular, but they voided our warranties because they get short and cause a fire. Oh. Yeah, I remember as a kid, something where the heat was coming out of the bottom and one of dad's old trucks before we actually got going anywhere. Yeah, Steph, that's right. Oh, Cody. Uh-huh. Yeah, we still have that to look forward to. And that's why I'm like, I desperately want to be out of here for even a couple weeks, but it's so expensive. Oh my goodness, everybody, here's Bart, here's Bart, here's the gentleman I was talking about earlier that sent the lagoon mount, whole thing gifted to me, free, plus it costs $63 to ship it here, so Bart, I did get it, thank you so much, I'm going to wait till it's warmer temperature so I don't crack anything when I'm drilling, um, but I am definitely going to put that in there, I have the tabletop, I'm super, super excited, so excited. D wouldn't want our heating bills. Well, my energy bill, which is what my furnace runs off of, is for the house. Well, it used to be less, but now it used to be $80 a month, but with our carbon tax, it's now $100 a month. And I think the heating bill is really not that bad. Like, if everything's gas, natural it's gas. so cheap. Yeah. yeah, natural gas makes things way more affordable for us and is regulated by our province. But the, my power was 130 a month. That's here. pretty good. That's not bad at all. Yeah, no, but I've replaced all my basement windows, my bedroom window, a bathroom window. The things that really need is the two kitchen windows and the front one. You know what happened to me one time? Okay, you know, remember me and Amy were living in that apartment in North, North Regina? Yeah, tell them. Yeah. It, they had a, everything came from the States and they built this apartment in pieces, like in blocks pretty much. And they stacked it up and they put it all together and then they had all the water heater and everything outside on the deck in a little enclosed room. Mm -hmm. And so they, I guess I found out when I got the bill, but my power bill was like $500 all winter and a, and it, because they had a, they had two space heaters running inside of this room to keep the pipes from freezing, and I had to pay for the power bill for that. Oh yeah, those were li literally like when they were hauling them in. We had a big boom with oil back then. There was tons of development in our province. In fact, we just hit 1.2 million yesterday for my entire province. <laughs> but um, oh, what was I saying now? My mind's all over the place. Oh. Ah, forget it. This is how I've been for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> in and out. In and out. <laughs> we do have a lot of codes for our insulation. Our, our, our ratings for our insulation usually need to be fairly high. Right? Just send me some of that Arizona heat. Yes. Yes. Although I was surprised when I was in Lake Havasu, I thought I'd be able to go into the water, but it was freaking cold. I thought it would have been warmer. Yeah, the ocean? It must run off mountains. 
Oh, Mountain Run Off. Yeah, that'd be like cold. when we go to BC, their water's colder than our lakes in yeah, the summer. Mm hmm. So I saw Wanda Wander was talking about some of her problems. I think she had problems with her van. Now I don't know how far I'm going to have to go back to find it. Buying a car without a block heater is like not buying winter boots. Yeah, I wear my boots everywhere. I never plug my car in. It's no problem. So I'm good so far. Until one day something cracks. <laughs> right? Yeah, usually diesels would come with them, especially anybody from any of the colder areas. So a lot of you guys do know what I'm talking about and some don't. Marianne says her dad actually put one in their old car there. Kobe never had one until he had his diesel bus. Yeah, diesels are a lot more of a pain to get started. Steph says they are standard in Canada. Mm, lost on land. Is Lola here? Did I miss Lola coming in? I'm going to have to scroll on down and try to catch up. Oh, Roman, it's Ringo. Hello, hello. Oh, you crashed your van, Wanna Wander? Oh my gosh, I hope you're okay. I try to keep up the stuff. One of your friends posted that you were okay on YouTube, or not YouTube, on Facebook. Do you know I have 7.3 thousand followers on Facebook? What, really? Yeah, I know. You want to check it out? Like, it's How? for real. Really? But none of them watch my channel. <laughs> you should stream to Facebook, too, so people share it out. Easily. Yeah, I guess. I don't you, can, you can monetize your Facebook. Like yeah. I, because I was doing that and it worked out pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty yeah, we'll see one of these days. We'll see. We'll see. How do you get so much? I don't know. Oh I don't God. know. But you know what? My Van Vita Travels, the connections that I've made on there, on Facebook with people has been amazing. Like everybody that I'm, like almost everybody that I met this winter was through the YouTube channel and my Facebook, right? So like, we all kind of found each other through those and it has been fantastic. Oh, you just missed your van. I hope you get it replaced. Um, uh, Karen's here at the Exploring Canada. Good to see you. I hope you're staying warm as well in our Canadian cold. Okay, so I'm thinking about ideas. I've been doing some price comparisons. If I was to go anywhere warmer for the three weeks that I have, that's if I can get someone to stay at the house and watch dogs. I could fly somewhere. And flights, well, we can actually get cheaper flights to Vegas. How much are those? Uh, like two fifty each way. But then where do I stay in Las Vegas? We don't Oh my god, you gotta you gotta use that you gotta play my Vegas games. What is show them what you play. Oh Tell god. them what this is. I play those it's an online slot game like my Vegas. Some of you guys may know it, right? I don't know. And then you collect these reward points to have you play. And you can get like enough to get like free rooms and stuff in the, in Vegas and and I have enough. And, oh, you can even get like cruises and stuff too. I have enough for a cruise. I'm going to cruise. How much do you love your sister? Wait, I got Christmas and my birthday's coming. <laughs> I actually use it. I use it in Vegas when we were there. I can also get fairly good. decent flights to like Phoenix as well those areas otherwise i can fly to minot and then you can get or if i drive to minot across the border a legion has ridiculously cheap flights like to phoenix and vegas for like under 50 bucks but i gotta go across the border pay for parking drive my car have it parked in the winter it's easier just to fly out of regina an hour away lillian wants to know how is my son doing in university he's actually taking a break and he is working out in calgary right now Oh, Marianne plays that. Wanna Wander says Circus Circus is probably the best place to stay for cheap. Okay, so when my mom retired, I won't say which year that was, early retirement, right, mom was. But we decided to go on a road trip. Her birthday was in August, retirement party was August, and mom and I road trip to Vegas, which I had never been in the desert areas before. And in August, we run from building to building in the heat, like we run from the cold here. Oh, I just broke so like there's lots of stuff like 60 or for 60,000 like royalty points you get like $25 in free play to like casinos and stuff and I got 3.4 million loyalty points in this game and I, I can like I can do a lot complimentary night 75,000 points <laughs> I could stay there for a good month for free yeah but where am I gonna afford to stay in Vegas for three weeks or two weeks Gotta start playing this game. Uh, 
It's free Dee to play. is telling me to read or comment, but they don't know where it was. Kobe says Vegas is actually cold over the last bit. The thing is, if I'm going to go somewhere south, I actually want to be able to swim in water. But oh yeah, back to this comment, Circus Circus. So my mom and I drove out to Vegas. We got there a day earlier than we planned. And I never pre-booked because I thought it'd be cheaper to go into the hotels and book there. Well, it's not. It was significantly more expensive. And they told me, go somewhere, find your Wi-Fi, go on a site book that way and it was way cheaper and so the cheapest place was circus circus for us and so that was august and then the year my son was 15 him and i went and we stayed at excalibur yeah over easter one year Ooh. yeah but i want a hot i want to swim lynn says come to arizona she's in Mesa, arizona and she has an extra room oh that would be nice uh oh, Kobe's super sick with something. That's the thing about being around a lot of people. I'm always nervous about that. Vegas flights are cheap. Oil, you apparently you can still get electric oil dipsticks with heat that heat your oil. I've seen them online. Cause I did a lot of looking up stuff. Hey Floss, good to see you here. So let me just scroll down. Efficient RVers got comment here. The problem with leaving cold country is that you have to return to cold country. Right. But I will tell you, Steve, even have a week break, it is just, I don't know. And you hope it's really cold when you're gone. Mom and I have gone on a couple trips. I've gone on a couple otherwise. And it's it's still worth it just to get that break, just to get that vitamin D. I'm supplementing vitamin D right now, but just to get the sun I'm on your skin. Trying to feel, I'm starting to feel lazy. And... Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do have to watch out for those resort fees, right? They can be like for 30 to 50 bucks, I see commonly. The Apache super cheap, 25 a night, right on Fremont. Mm, see, here's the thing. I don't want to stay in Vegas by myself, especially on Fremont Street. I love Fremont Street. Don't get me wrong. Uh, for $25 a night, I don't trust it. <laughs> Well, he also came back sick. <laughs> Sorry, Kobe. <laughs> And D, I missed your comments. So you're going to have to put that in there. Uh, yeah, Baginelle, I could go to Alberta, but it's just not the same. You don't have, you're not any warmer than I am. Um, okay, so Efficient Reviewer says, I use an Airbnb when in Vegas to avoid resort fees, though I can often get a great, great room deals at South Point Luxor is staying at a casino in Vegas. A lot of places that are better in Circus Circus. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Airbnb probably a good one. I would have to look at Airbnb. So here's my other option. So I was looking at fuel costs. And I, I'll tell you one thing, you guys, I'm not driving through the mountains in the winter again. This prairie girl does not want to do that. <laughs> if I went anywhere, I'd go straight south and then east or west, but straight south initially. So I was looking at gas prices. South Dakota. Okay, so I'm going to talk liters. My gas okay, here... I worked out the numbers. So I was that's looking Canadian, at prices Canadian. for some of the states south of me. Yeah, that's Canadian. No, that's American. Oh. <laughs> no, that's American. Yeah, I didn't work out the exchange rate, which sucks right now too. But so South Dakota, okay, here at home, fuel is $1.46, $1.47 a liter. South Dakota, it's 94 cents a liter. Kansas is 80 cents a liter. Texas is 74 cents a liter. Now I do have to account for an exchange rate, but it's still significantly less than home. But if I consider the prices that I have for what it is here, what my gas mileage in each of my vehicles is, it lets, my example is if let's say I go to Quartzsite, meet up with everyone again. I had a great time last January in Quartzsite and I miss everyone and really want to connect again. If I go on the ambulance, it's going to be like $2,400 just in fuel. That's like a dollar twenty-six Canadian. So $0.94 cents a liter is $1.26. Yeah. So what's the $0.74 cents one? Yeah, it's still cheap. super cheap. That's got to be like a buck a liter with the exchange rate. Oh, my God. I'm, yeah, $0.99. Cents. That's so a cheap. A dollar a liter when you work up the exchange. A dollar, in Texas, it's a dollar a liter Canadian. That's, we pay 50, and it's a dollar fifty more. almost, yeah. So going, if I'm going to drive or going south, it makes sense because I get to stay out of the cold. Now, if I'm driving in the ambulance and it costs me $2,400 to get there and back, my accommodations are always accounted for, right? So that's great. My bulk 
cost is that as long as I didn't have another breakdown, but I also have a brand new transmission, <laughs> but I have everything else that I need in it. But that's too expensive right now because I've spent so much money on everything else this year. So then I consider driving my car. Now my car, since I've got home, I put over two grand worth of work <laughs> into, but she's running good now. The last thing was the VVT valve. So that intake and exhaust got replaced. I probably could have done it on my own, but it's just easier to pay someone. It wasn't that much more to make sure it was done right. So to drive my car and fuel, I worked out the gas mileage and the cost here would be $1,000 to go to Quartzsite and back. But in Arizona, you can't really set up a tent the same because the ground is so hard. I wouldn't want to sleep in a tent unless I was around a bunch of people that I knew. And I could sleep in the car. But honest to God, I don't know how people do that all the time. It's really not that comfortable. Oh, Dee's saying I could stay with her in her RV. She got a, a big like fifth wheel camper now oh, really? in her spot. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I could bunk in if I drove down, yeah. couldn't I? So, but I, I do like really, really warm. And I also think tumbleweed RV life is out in, uh, in Baja right now. But then again, their place doesn't accommodate for anything. I, I'm not driving in Mexico either. <clears throat> so I'm thinking flying somewhere and staying. And even if I had a flight round trip somewhere, yeah, that's $500, but I got to pay all my accommodations. And I also don't have any transportation. The ambulance right away, I know is the biggest cost of $2,400, but I have everything in it. We're driving the cars a thousand and I still need accommodations. What do you guys suggest? What are your tips and tricks or Airbnbs? I've never tried an Airbnb. So I'm just kind of curious how these things work. Is it possible for me just to even have a little bit of a getaway? You know, if I decided to only take a week off, my neighbors will take care of the dogs. I pay the young girl sometimes for a short amount to watch the house and the dogs. And she's amazing. So I could always do that. Oh, Cody, a hot springs would be fantastic. I love hot springs. And even to stay here and just go stay in a hotel for like a week, just to be like, say at a spa or something where we have our mineral spas, it's still... It's going to be more expensive for a week of that than it would be to drive all the way to the States and back. That's right. I do have a cousin out in Sacramento. That's true. Karen, I did buy last January one of those magnetic oil pan heaters. That was part of my process for getting the ambulance actually running. Yeah, you had a round trip from Minneapolis to Vegas. The closest air, U.S. airport that has the cheapest prices um, is Minot, which is still a significant drive, and it only flies out to two places at the Legion. So when you have access to big airports, that's great. But even with some of the flights and airplanes that we have here, I have to go four hours for better flights. I'm just in an area where it costs the most. Even when I look up an all-inclusive holiday to go as a single person, it's ridiculously expensive. So again, that's not really an option this year. Yeah, but I feel like I need a break. I need something. Hey, Michael Ann, good to see you in here. I had to keep on scrolling. I got two mirrors so I can see when someone pops up, but this side I got a scroll to catch up. Yes, Brie, the sun feels so good. Yes, Karen, I could camp in the SUV. I did set up a bed system after I came back from my car camping. You guys know I took my son out to Alberta when he moved. And then when I came back, I rebuilt stuff in there for my setup. I guess I would just need really some screens. Yeah. Yeah. I probably could. Yeah, Karen, you're right. I could. I know you do it too. So, yeah, when you get back from a trip, you always feel a little bit colder. Yeah, that's just the way here. Maybe those girls. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to catch up. You guys are awesome. And I am like so far behind. Happy anniversary, Lillian. Apparently it's an anniversary. I could could take my vehicle, stay with D for a little bit. Oh yeah. That is an option too. Her couch is a queen size bed. We could snuggle. I know you have a couch too. <laughs> Oh, I had some fun hanging out with Z last year too. 
Phoenix isn't that far from Quartzsite, but at the same time, I still need transportation there and back if I flew and then a place to stay. I still think no matter what, if I did go, I would, it's going to be the ambulance or my Equinox unless I fly somewhere else warm. Right, Tim? Those can be pretty expensive, that's for sure. And I don't know if I totally trust it. I just got scammed online with some of my Christmas present purchases. You guys, I just have not been functioning like a normal person lately. I I think I'm smart enough to know a scam. Totally fell for this one. Facebook, there's ads for these Manitoba mucklucks and moxins and i know that there is such company i have some from there that i have personally bought and they had the sale and so i clicked on it it took me to a website look totally legit i placed an order for some christmas gifts later i checked my bank statement it was twinkle bubble singapore 18 and i'm like what the hell is that googled it someone said it was a scam so then i tried to email it came back undeliverable called my credit card company i gotta wait 30 days and then i can go in again to report it as fraud just to make it's a 30 day just to make sure you didn't get anything and i did get that credit card canceled because i felt like it was compromised and i have a new credit card number so yeah dumb 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 there are so many things that has happened beyond my control this year but this is me just being stupid <sighs> Live and learn. I, it does sound, I know, Diane, I know, right? I know, but it looked so legit. This website was all fancy. And it did, of course, maybe websites aren't that hard to make anymore. I don't know. I totally fell for it. Hey, Step Van Dan. Oh, awesome channel here. You guys got to check out Desert Adventures in Arizona, Stephen Oki, and they live in the Ironwood National Forest, so they know all sorts of stuff about Arizona. Oh, where did I put it? I put it back in my room. So when I went on my Arizona trip, you guys, I came back and the stuff I ordered online with an Arizona map and tourism stuff got here. <laughs> Not before I left when I got back. So again, I'm sorting things out and cleaning out drawers and I came across them. As I took a highlighter and I marked over all the highways that I drove in Arizona when I was there. And I'm like, you know what? I've hardly seen anything. And I was there for three and a half months. There's so much yet that I want to see. Oh, George and Rose, you did the same thing too. Oh, I know. They're all like that, Lynn, on Facebook. It's all China, Japan, Singapore. It's crazy what they do. <laughs> Somebody's here. You need my new credit card number now. Yeah, right? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, thanks, Diane. I do. I feel like a total dumbass. I wasn't going to admit it either, but I share so much with you guys. We talk about, you know, depression and anxiety and relationships and all these kinds of things. And I got scammed. I know not to click on stuff. I know not to respond to things, but that got me. I walked right into it. And that's what pisses me off. Ava says she thinks she might have got scammed on an order just last week. Go look into your credit card right away. I thought because it was within a couple of days of the order, it made a difference, but I do have to wait for 30 days, but I'm glad I called. I had to sit on the phone for three hours to get through on that line with my credit card company, but I did it. I kept it on, um, what do you call that so you can hear your phone? Um, speaker. I kept it <laughs> Just losing it. Kept on speakerphone for hours. Oh, thank you, Linda. Yeah, Arizona is huge, and there's so much there. So much stuff. I definitely want to go back. I definitely want to see more. I still want to see California. I still want to see Texas. For some reason, Florida doesn't appeal to me so much because I always think of alligators. <laughs> I don't know why. I think Florida alligators. Oh, nope, not doing it. <clears throat> RV Living Life says, how long does it take to drive to Quartzsite? Would you be spending half of your vacation driving? Um, last year took me three days to get there and three days back. So, I mean, it's heavily dependent on weather and which routes I take, but 
I went a different way each way and it still took me three days. When you look at on Google, it's 24 hours of driving. So I go slower in the ambulance significantly. And we did have things like I had to detour for wind warnings and stuff, but I don't know. Plus, if you remove, we could come and do the 30,000 square foot Korean spa and sauna. Wow, I don't even know what that is. That sounds fantastic. That sounds insane. Mm, trying to catch up. So I do have company, so I will stop at the top of the hour. I think I had seen a pop-up. The Van Life Vagina is going live tonight. So we, if one of my moderators could check if I saw that right <laughs> and put that up, we could definitely, definitely raid Van Life Vagina, do a Van Vita Travels raid. Um, check on renting an RV. I don't want to rent a vehicle, though. That's a thing. Yeah, for what I would spend in rent and insurances and all that, it'd be just easier to drive mine. Hey, Tom, good to see you. Yeah, it's like, guys, if it sounds too good to be true, it's usually fake. <laughs> oh, Bree, thank you for finding that. Let me pin that to the top. Usually, I don't know for sure of anyone lately that's going before or after me on Saturdays, although some every other weekend, I think, D has been doing some Saturday nights, but then I haven't been on here for a couple weeks. So I do appreciate you guys coming back. I appreciate you guys following stuff online. I appreciate all the messages and the love that you guys have shown me. Even though I hadn't responded to anything, I I still saw it all and I read it all. And um, um, it was really good and I needed it. And I appreciate each and every one of you so very, very much. Hey, Lynn, good to see you. Let me just see if we got any last comments while we're still here. There we go. Oh, alligators and scammers, both like Canadians. <laughs> but it is 26 in Florida. Gators don't come out in the winter. It's too cold. Like snakes, right? Ooh, that's good to know. Oh, that sauna, you can spend the entire day there? That would be so interesting. See you later, Lynn. Thanks for the love, you guys. Floss is going to email me the link to that. That's awesome. Thanks for being here, Steph. It's good to see you. We'll have to talk about house sales and stuff. Do you? I don't know if you have your house listed yet, but let me know. Spring is usually when most people will go and list their homes, so I'll give it a try and see what God says is meant to be. Um. And I guess as a side note, before we go raid uh, Van Life with Gina, I'm not really going to give any details, but Nate and I are still talking. So any prayers for all those that believe would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah. Just pray for us. Anyways, I am thankful for each and every one of you. I don't know if I have the most updated version of my channel member stuff. Let me just see what I got here. And I'm going to play a thank you to you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Hopefully I'll be here again next Saturday. Um, I'm pretty sure I will. But right now I have company that I am so thankful for and absolutely love. So make sure you say it's a Van Vita Travels raid when you raid Gina so she knows I still love her to pieces. I haven't been keeping in touch with her. All right. Thanks, everyone. Good night.